It's okay. Relax. It's all right. Whoa. I had no idea cows could jump like that. I don't know if you saw that. There's a squirrel that was inside here. He obviously came in through the nest box area, the nest box area that we don't use with this coop. And he was eating the chicken's food. I was wondering why they went through so much food so fast. It is a beautiful foggy morning out here. It is starting to feel more like fall. If you've been watching our recent videos, you know we've been on a journey getting ready for new goat buildings and new goat fences. We're taking a break from that with this week's video because early November is the time I report on one of my favorite projects out here, the stump nurse log trees. Next week's video, we'll get back to the fencing. Full disclosure, as of right now, filming this, I've already finished the fencing. It's not much of a spoiler alert to say there were several things that didn't quite go the way I expected, but in the end, it all looks even better than I thought it would. That playlist is called Big Things Are Happening, and it ended up being 10 videos. Well. 10 plus a sort of bonus video. I've been shooting all of these and then editing and posting them to come out one per week. Stump nurse log trees are what they sound like. An old rotting tree stump filled with compost and then a new tree planted on top. The idea is for the tree roots to grow down and latch onto that tree stump as a kind of scaffolding. Eventually, as the stump rots away, what remains will be an above ground sculpture of tree roots. I don't really know exactly how this project will turn out, so I'm trying different things. Some of the tree stumps have these containers built around them to provide more area for the tree roots. It also allows for a greater surface area to collect water to properly hydrate the growing trees. If you wanna try something like this yourself, I recommend planting your trees close enough to your house that they're very easy to hand water. During the dry summer months, I'm hauling water out to all these trees twice a week. You wouldn't think that a site planted tree would need that much maintenance but essentially what these things are, are container plants at this point. They just need more water than everything else out here. Also, every year so far, I've had to top off these stumps with more soil. Eventually, I do want that soil level to drop and slowly expose the tree roots, but right now, I'm mostly concerned with keeping these trees alive. Eventually, as the trees get bigger and the roots go deeper, I'll feel more comfortable letting those tree roots 
fee uncovered. On to the business at hand. I rewatched last year's update and made myself some notes so I can tell you exactly how well these trees have done this year. This tree is now a little bit better than five and a half feet tall. That means it's grown a little more than a half a foot this year. I'm pretty happy with that. This tree here near our coop and our woodshed is still just a little over four feet tall, so it really hasn't grown much, if at all. This is our slowest grower. It's the one of the shadiest spots and probably will continue to be our slowest grower. This tree had been topped in a storm. It continues to look better. Let's see how big it is. almost five and a half feet. Yeah, that means it's grown about a foot this year. That's really good. The next two trees don't have those planters around them. Let's see how this one's doing. This tree is still just a little over four feet tall. So it really hasn't grown much this last year. It also looks noticeably drier than the other trees. I'm afraid not having a planter built around this stump is hindering this tree. It just doesn't look like it's getting as much water as it needs. That last tree had a temporary wire fence around it to protect it from cows that graze back here occasionally. I'll have to dig through my files to find some cow footage from this year that really shows how agile and nimble cows can be. It's okay. Relax. It's all right. Whoa. I had no idea cows could jump like that. This is the last tree. It's the newest one and still our smallest tree. When I planted this one, it was much smaller than all of the other trees that I started. Mostly I did that so the tree would have time to acclimate itself to this pretty small stump. Let's see how it's been doing. It's now three and a half feet tall and it's grown a foot since last year. So that's really good. Really good considering this tree stump does not have one of those planters around it. It also doesn't look as dry as that other tree. This must just be a really good spot for it. Earlier, I had shot some video of our youngest chickens intending for it to be a little bit of variety to our otherwise all fencing videos. Well, those videos had enough footage already. This video is a little short, so we'll go ahead and take a look at that video here. I'm wearing the same shirt, by the way, just for continuity. Our new chickens, the pullets, have been big enough for quite some time to come out and explore around the mini cooper. We've been keeping them cooped up in there to stay safe from raccoons but I really do want them to get used to coming out during the day and then going back in at night where it's safe. When I integrate the flocks, these new chickens are gonna have to be able to go out into the chicken run because that's where we keep their water. To tell you the truth, when I do integrate the flocks, the new chickens are so timid, they just wanna hide from the other chickens and they don't really go out of the coop into the run and mingle that much. So for a week or so, 
I will maintain an inside water source for them. But, like I said, I want them to get used to coming out and going back in. So let's see, let's see how they like coming out for the first time. Okay, down there. <laughs> Welcome to the wider world. Come on, chickens. You can do it. Hey, how'd you get in there? I don't know if you saw that, there's a squirrel that was inside here. He obviously came in through the nest box area, the nest box area that we don't use with this coop. And he was eating the chicken's food. I was wondering why they went through so much food so fast. One small step for chicken, one giant leap for chicken kind. Come on. It's okay. It's okay. Yes. Here's how it works. See? Look around. And then you can go back inside. Change is dramatic at first. But the chickens have quickly adapted. They're just hanging out here, doing a little dust bathing, being chickens. <laughs> 